uh, Comet Atlas has now reached the headlines. Uh, because of the lockdown due to the coronavirus, people have plenty of time. Telescopes and binoculars are selling like hotcakes. And everybody is waiting for a magical celestial display in the sky. It deserves our attention. It has brightened up a lot. To be accurate, about 6,000 times since the end of the February. So take your binoculars out and use these charts to find it. If you don't have any binocular, it is best to wait until May. Because by then it will be visible by the naked eye. You have to look in the direction of the east and you see Venus, Capella and the comet Atlas. So starting from Venus, you go to the star Capella and then you will follow to Atlas. Uh, people have already started to make drawings of the comet. Drawing is an easier, cheaper way than astrophotography. So study the charts in this video and prepare for observation. Because as the days go by, the comets will become brighter. There are several theories about the comet Atlas and similar comets. Some say they can be made of multiple objects, like the one in this image. Some others say they are made of uh, bigger objects touching each other. Some even say that there are messenger starships coming from the interstellar space. Even if you don't want to do anything, you can enjoy and have a good time. There are plenty of books about this subject. Some of them are science fiction. Some of them are really thought-provoking. I recommend them. You will have a good time reading these books and enjoying them. You know the comets may have been the origin of life on our planet. They can evolve some species and wipe out other species. There is a lot of food for thought here.
contrast and the beauty of this refractor. I've not seen anything. It looks like the old paintings of the moon landscape, 19th century ones, engravings. You can see why they draw them like that. These refractors are so contrasty. The image quality is superb. Yeah, although it is daylight, I've changed the setting of the video so it looks darker than what it actually is. But where I'm uh, making this video using a Meet uh, LX200 Classic as a superior optic to anything that I've seen. And it has the slow motion controls unlike the LX90. And that makes it uh, possible to actually move the images. As you can see, I'm removing the micro movements of the telescope if it's possible. Yeah, the cuckoo, cuckoo always singing. 